I wanted to show a quick demo of how to back up Proliquo to go to other devices. First, you go into here. This is the options and you look for the word backup. It will automatically have backups in the device from the day before, but if you just made some changes, you're gonna to wanna to make a new backup. So I'm gonna back up the user that we're using. You can delete old backups. Now I'm gonna export that backup, which is right here. And I'm gonna use the share option because I wanna airdrop it to other Apple devices. Airdrop. So you can see I have Mommy, which is my iPad. It's already popped up over here. I'm gonna accept it. It'll open it up in there. It'll ask if I wanna restore it. And if I wanna use the existing user or a new one, I'm gonna use the existing. And there you go. But now I also wanna airdrop it to Lily's phone, which is here. And you can see the grid isn't exactly user-friendly on the phone. So now I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna change the grid size. I'm gonna hit this right here to take me into options. On the phone, it's a little different. Scroll. Where it says default grid size seven by 10, I'm gonna change that to four by 10. Other grid size, number of rows, four, number of columns, 10, hit done. It didn't select it, so we're gonna go back in there and we're gonna select it. There we go, four by 10. We're also gonna change the home screen right here, this folder. Go to grid size. And we're gonna find the four by 10 or create it ourselves. Number of rows, four. Number of columns, 10. Done. There we go. Now you can see, this is a much more user-friendly way to see it on the phone.